Welcome to Ozfish. Dave here. Let's get some. <laughs> I'm out dew fishing with Brandon this afternoon. Brandon and I have had the worst start to a fishing session we've ever had. It started off really good. We went out, a bit of a nor'easter blowing, but heaps and heaps of bait out there. So we filled our live bait tank up, but what happened was there were so many small bonito out there, they just shredded our like bait jigs. And in the end, Brandon and I, we had one little dropper left on our bait jigs trying to catch yellowtail with one little dropper. So anyway, we got about 35 liveys. <clears throat> and then what I thought was, rather than fishing this spot, <clears throat> I'd go high in the river and uh, fish up there. So we went all the way up there. And what happened was, when we got up there, big gigantic storms just rolled through this afternoon. Brandon and I had to wait it out at the car park for like 45 minutes. When we got up the river, it was blowing from the northwest right up the river and um, yeah, I just could not lay on the anchor uh, with that northwest wind blowing where I was in the river. So we had to come all the way back down the river and on the way back down the river, you wouldn't believe it, one of my favorite outfits, man. Like, this outfit was in the snapper rack with a snapper lead on it. It just, like, it must have, like, the bail arm must have clicked over or something because the, the snapper lead was on it. And, mate, it zinged out all the line and just flew the rod straight out the snapper rack. What a disaster. Anyway, Brandon and I came back to where we thought it was. Brandon said to me, nah, mate, there's got to be 400 metres of mono out there. So I threw out one of my rigs with a circle look on it. We went diagonal across the river. You would not believe it. We actually caught the monofilament and uh, we managed to drag the rod and reel back to the boat and we saved it. I love this rod and reel, man. We got it back. I'll have to wash it with fresh water, maybe get it serviced. Man, I would have been spewing if we had lost that. So here we are. Mate, must be like, 9 o'clock, 9.30, we've just been mucking around with storms, lost rods, can't fish up the river because of the wind and the tide, and we've had to come back to here, and we have not put one fish in the boat that's 9.30. Anyway, we better finish this night with a 1.30, Brandon. <laughs> a nightmare. Started bad, hope it ends good. I'll get back there. Huh? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Take this headlight, mate. I don't think I need it. No. Oh. oh, yeah, that's a dew fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, it could be a shovel as shark. Rod. He's pretty hard, isn't he? Yeah. I'll tell you what, you know it when you got him on the brim rod. Come back. Oh, come back. <laughs> yeah. Is that him right up on the top? No, it's a goddamn shovel nose. Really? Yeah. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. 
pulled pretty hard for a shovel nose. Hell, shovel nose. Foul hook shovel there. Oh, a stingray bent over. I would guess stingray. I would guess shovel nose. Stingray. Stingray. Ah, damn, Brandon. The medium sized stingray on the Jew gear. I would have eaten him up. But on the friend gear. Oh. Damn. Dragon. Stingray on the friend gear. Be scared of a stingray, bro. No. Tell me that's a fish, Brandon. I'd say so. I only just uh, wound that rod in and uh, threw him out. little fellas man when you just you don't even need the net you can just sort of pull them up but uh they hit hard for little fish don't they sure i thought he would have been a bit bigger than that anyway it's always good to get one fish we're off the donut you're on strike see you mate Is it not on? No. Man, it was bouncing like, there was definitely a fish on there a second ago.
illegal fish? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I saw a little flash up in my butt. It's the right size, not nothing too big. Yeah. You can hold them up. Oh, 79. Man, Brandon, did we have to work hard for that fish or what? 79. Unbelievable. All right, mate, catch you later. Through the loop, in, pull it up, snip him off, can we catch a jewfish on the hand line? One, two, three. Uh, top of the tide, uh, just small fish around the night, pretty tough fishing. Wind swung around at the southwest, but which is good because it's holding us really nice on the anchor. We've got three rods out, and um, yeah, got the hand line out. Haven't caught a uh, fish on the hand line tonight. But, um, <clears throat> probably fish for another half an hour. If we're lucky, we might get a couple more fish, maybe. We're looking for a big fish. Yeah, well, it's still running in a little bit. Extremely warm night tonight, really warm. Come on, send us a big dog. There's that suddenly. Just hit us. One more fish. We bent over. Yeah. <laughs> 